What's up everybody, Circles and Squares back again at Off Center DJ School with another tutorial. This time, the drop cut. The drop cut is first off a mix technique. What you're doing here is transitioning between two tracks using just the crossfader. So we're going back and forth between the two tracks and they never actually play on top of each other. So this makes it really cool if you're trying to actually build up the tempo because you can change the tempo without necessarily having them clash. It can also be used as a really colorful technique if you're adding some scratches to it, which we're going to get into today. As you can see, we've got a DVS here, digital vinyl system. Uh, we're going to look at this technique in two ways. So we're going to look at it with more traditional analog, tried, tested and true techniques versus some digital elements that can be thrown in there for good measure. So in its most basic form, that is what the drop cut looks like. Nice and simple, we're dropping this on the one, replacing where the one would have been on the previous record. Now we can dress that up a little bit, add some scratches, maybe a couple stabs, babies, whatever you're comfortable with. This just gives the audience an idea, kind of cues them, so they know something's about to change, something's about to happen. So when it actually does happen, they're prepared for it. So there's the analog example, tried, tested and true, a lot of character, cool scratches you can throw in there. Now we're going to flip to the digital side of things. And again, we've got a DVS, which is fantastic. Now we're going to make use of some of those features. In this example, what we're going to be doing is using the cue points instead or in combination with our scratching. So this gives us another alternative. You can do kind of rapid fire uh, releases essentially without necessarily having to drag it back to the beginning of the sound. Cue points, as we all know, are essentially bookmarks for different places in the track that we want to reference, and most mixers these days, or at least controllers, have them built in to the actual surface. So here is the ultimate analog digital hybrid using both scratches and cue points to create the drop mix. That's it for this time guys. If you have any questions at all, please do comment down below. We have lots of other videos to check out as well. And until we see each other again, practice, 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 and enjoy yourself.